Hey guys, sorry I haven't posted a video in pretty long, but today's video is a review on the newest Transformers figures, Age of Ex Extinction Transformers 4, and today's figures are Evasion Mode Optimus Prime and Grimlock. Uh, these two are the Generation Voyager class. Read it. Series M4, number one, and this is... Mm, series M4 number two. I think there's a series M series M4 number three, which is Galvatron, and I think they that one just came out, but I didn't see it when I bought these two. Um, I got these two for a really good price, and I'm happy to do this review, and I'm happy to have these two figures. Ever since I knew about the Dinobots, which a which was a long time ago, I've always wanted them in the movies. And when I finally saw it in the new movie, I was so proud and excited. I was like, Yer! and like, oh yeah! But, and then I had to get these figures because I love them. Okay, so the first one I will be showing you is Grimlock. And Grimlock's, I will show you his packaging and the figure. Okay, so here we go. Before we get to the actual figure, I want to show you the packaging and read to you what it says on the back. Okay, so as you can see, it says Grimlock and has an Autobot logo. It's a, it has the Transformers 4 logo, Transformer J Age of Extinction. And it has an awesome picture of Grimlock. If you check out the Generation Leader, it has a totally different picture of Grimlock. That's what I like, that um, they changed the picture of Grimlock here. Two different pictures for two different kinds. Okay, on the side it says... I mean, it has a picture of an awesome picture of an Autobot logo. The other side, it just carries on with that picture of Grimlock there. It says Transformers Generation Voyager Class Series M4, number two. And it says Transformers, and it has another Autobot logo up here. And on the back, it has a picture of Grimlock in robot mode and a picture of Dinobot mode. And no, you're wondering, Dinobot mode does not get that big. I will show you how size-wise he is, how big he is, and I will read to you what it says. Grimlock. Grimlock is the ultimate wild card. The Dinobot leader has the power to decide the fate of Earth almost single-handedly. His ferocious strength makes him a devastating force in battle. If that strength can be focused and harnessed for good, it could be enough to turn the tide. If not, it might be what seals Earth's doom. Earth's do do do. Okay. Okay, so it has a picture of uh, Evasion Mode Prime, and let's get to the figure, shall we? Okay, packaging, that's what packaging looks like, and shipping, here's the figure. Put him right here, next to this, packaging. Okay, I actually like this figure a lot. He His robot mode is actually very nice, I like it. A lot. Um, yeah. This is what he looks like. Figure mode. He's very cool. I like um, his coloring. Here, let me put this on another stand. I like his coloring. Uh, it's not like the movie accurate coloring. Dark uh, gray or whatever. But it's like more like dinosaur kind. It does come with his hammer. He does come with his hammer. That also becomes his tail later on. But it looks a little too long, so I wouldn't like to put it on. His eyes are nice and blue for the Dinobot mode. And his eyes are also nice and blue. Here, let me focus. Come on. Nice and blue there. His chest plates are awesome. His little skirt here. And his Autobot logo right on his stomach or abs and this is what he looks like from top to bottom his little elf shoes <laughs> it's actually pretty nice the spikes on the side of his boots the back of him there is his transformation jaw up here and that is his hump for the back and that if you were wondering why he has two heads on, his sho on both shoulders and how he transforms they're both separated in half so when you that's what connects both of the heads so yeah okay 
He looks awesome. He's very sturdy. His he's very sturdy. I like that about him. Super sturdy. He's very easily nicely posed. You can pose him any way you would like to. He does not have a uh, joint swivel, which kind of sucks. So you can't swivel his body around. But that's what he would look like posed. And his feet are his hands here in robot mode. Stand up, bro. Yeah, I am I love this figure. I very much enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. Enjoyed it. I still do. And this is so going in my Transformers section in my room. Uh, I love it. The coloring is great. Um, it doesn't have, like, uh, well, it is painted silver coloring. And I will show you mo more in the Dinobot mode right now. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's get to that. And here's Dinobot Grimlock, and he transformed magically. I don't know how. You know, he's a transformer. I didn't do it at all. If you guys want to see the transformation, I would recommend watch another video like Shardimus Prime. Or use the instructions. I would use the instructions. Yeah. He's a nice figure. His mold and sculpture are great. If you check out the Generations Leader, his body form... And his whole body form isn't good in Dinobot mode. I really don't like it. If you look at that and compare it to this, you'll be like, Wow, this Voyager one is way better. Well, I don't know. It might be up to you what you like, what kind of design you like. Damn, Lego. Yeah. Um, In Generation Leader Voyager thing, uh, he has a huge hole in his mouth. And this guy doesn't have a hole in his mouth. That's not a hole. That's part of his transformation. But he doesn't have, like, a huge hole missing a total bottom of his mouth, which is stupid. Um, yeah, as you can see, he, like, chomps, and you're wondering what this thing does. And then he goes, chomp, chomp, chomp. He has total chomp, chomp action there. He's gonna, like, bite you. Yeah, chomp, chomp action there. Um, yeah, I love this figure, guys. So, his tail is great. Oh, yeah, and I told you, um... That I would show you the transformation here for to put his tail on. And that includes this part and this part. And you connect them. Stick that one in there. Come on. Come on, come on. Okay. Nice and sturdy. And if you can see it. Here, let me fix my lighting a little bit. Yeah. Uh, can't fix it, but... um, If you see... Yeah, see, there's a little dentation there. Right here. That will go into this part. These two parts on both sides. You connect them. And you have to be very strong. Not very strong. I mean, you have to push in super hard for this. Ow. It might hurt you because of his boots. The spikes on them. But soon enough, it will fit. And that's what he will look like. That's why I don't like to have him with his tail on. But super long. It comes past my review section here. Super long, but I get it. It looks kind of cool. It's there's no other way to carry it in this transformation, but okay, yeah. So yeah, now I'm gonna show you how big he gets and what how size wise he is. That is what he looks like next to a Lego guy, uh, the Nova officer from the Guardians of the Galaxy show blasters, uh, whatever thing. I'll do a review on that one later, but uh. I don't think I would be human, human size wise because I think a human would be way smaller because Prime probably only gets him to like right there to his rib. So yeah. Yeah, and this is what he looks like next to the amazing Spider Man fig. Not too big. Grimlock doesn't get that big. And yeah. Woohoo! Red like the wind, Grimlock! Grimlock think you're heavy, you fatty. You have eat. Yeah, I have eaten a lot of burritos over two years, you know. Put on some weight. You fatty. You heavy. Get off, Grimlock. Meet Grimlock. No give joyride to stupid fatties. Okay, guys, hope you liked this review um, of Grimlock Voyager Edition number two. Uh, yeah, hope you liked it. If you liked it, tell me, subscribe me. You don't have to subscribe me, but subscribe me.
Grimlock say, subscribe him. Don't want to be here no more. Okay, so tell me if you like this video, comment, and give me a thumbs up or thumb, uh, thumbs down. It's up to you. But thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you liked it. And I really, very, very, very much recommend this figure. Thanks for watching. Here's the packaging one last time. And stay tuned. Like the old TV show. Stay tuned for the next episode. Stay tuned for the next episode because I will be reviewing the Evasion Optimus Prime. Okay? So, thanks for watching. And keep watching my videos. Bye.